Can the minister confirm that the assistant secretary from the Department of Health with responsibility for the Health Star Food Labelling Initiative was contacted directly by telephone by her chief of staff on the 5th of February last week, demanding that the food labelling website be removed. Can the minister confirm that the same official was removed from that position six days later on Tuesday of this week? Uh, yes, I can confirm that a discussion took place between my Chief of Staff and Cathy Dennis regarding the removal of the website. That was on my direction. That was, as I've stated to the Senate earlier, my decision to have the website removed. The question relating to the position of Ms Cathy Dennis would need to be directed to the Secretary of the Department, as the Senator well knows. My question is to the Assistant Minister for Health. On what date did the Prime Minister approve the appointment of her Chief of Staff? Was the Prime Minister informed about her Chief of Staff's shareholding in a food industry lobbying firm before or after his appointment? Thank you, Mr President. I can inform the Senate again that all the appropriate steps were taken to ensure propriety was in place, that there was not and would not be a conflict of interest in relation to the role of my Chief of Staff and the company Australian Public Affairs. It was all done in a very thorough and diligent manner. Can I also, can I also point out to the Senate can I also point out to the Senate that this is a typical attack from the opposition to attack individuals by imputing impropriety where none exists? I refer the minister to her intervention causing the removal of the Health Star rating website just hours after it went live. Can the minister explain why the website was removed without consultation with members of the Legislative Governance Forum on Food Regulation? Now that the conflict of interest in her office has been revealed, will the minister do the right thing and put the website back up? In relation to the final part of the senator's question, there is no conflict of interest. In relation to the first part of the question, as I clearly outlined to the Senate last week my reasons, I will do so again. My belief was that the website going live was premature for three reasons. One, the Health Star rating system has not yet commenced on supermarket shelves. It would have been very confusing for consumers to go into a supermarket and realise that no star rating was on the front of PAC as yet. Secondly, the forum took a unanimous decision to have an extensive cost-benefit analysis done that was due to report back to the forum in June this year, and it was premature to have the website live until, until this was completed. Thirdly. The FOPLOAC, the Front of Pack Labelling Oversight Advisory Committee, was charged at the December meeting with advising the forum on processes for dealing with anomalies that still exist in the system, and that advice has not yet been given to the forum. The website indicated at the foot of the website that it was the Commonwealth of Australia. On the basis of all of those uh, decisions, though all of those issues, I based my decision to take the website, to direct to take the website down. Now, the issue around the placing of the website should be a decision of the forum correctly. There was no decision in the communique put out by the forum relating to the website going live at the December meeting.